guys are. I really like it if you subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this review. And hit that little bell. We're so close to 50 subs. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, um, we are going to be unboxing a Series S Xbox controller. But it also works with One S, um, normal Xbox One. Normal, uh, the One X. Basically, every Xbox apart from the 360 and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, here's a look at the box. No, there's not really much. So, it's a nice, clean box. I like this bit on the side, though. I would definitely recommend watching my full Series S unboxing video. I really recommend you watch that and then come back to this video because because that video you can see what the actual console looks like but if you're just here to or and you still own a xbox one s or x or any of the xbox one series i really um you should watch this video video and then maybe go on to my other video so yeah let's actually i just realized that really didn't make any sense if you've already got a series if you're buying this for your series s then you then then you should already have the series s so uh yeah other way around swap it the other way around um anyway let's open this actually no i'm gonna do my cool camera thing Actually, no, it's way more satisfying to do do it like this. Oh, I've not actually unboxed a series. They've changed this packaging. I remember my X Xbox One Minecraft Edition controller. The packaging was not like this. And in a bit, we are actually going to be... We are actually going to be comparing all... Three controllers that I think think are all similar, and uh, yeah. So here it is. Ooh. Controller. Put you there. Batteries for the controller here, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think you get anything else ah what is this this is instructions apparently um um uh, yeah you can actually use this with a uh with a other device it doesn't have to be xbox the good thing about xbox controllers is it's bluetooth i've tried using it with my tablet before it works quite well so uh, yeah <laughs> let's let's actually go and have a oh hello you get you get an you get a code for game pass in here I like that that's quite nice they give you a little code for game pass and then this I'm not gonna go through this. There's a lot of stuff in there. Um, yeah, I think it's good that they give you um, Game Pass. I, I really think that's good because Game Pass, I would really recommend getting it. It is the best thing. You have so many games. You can see some of the games on there. Minecraft Dungeon Dungeons is on there. Forza is one of the best ones on there. You got all of the Ori games. I think I should make a, a different video on Game Pass. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's put all this stuff back because we don't care. Don't care about that. Actually, I could have made a really cool animation there. Right, okay. Forget that even happened. Okay, so that was a bit stupid. I just ended the video and 
instead of do my cool editing thing. But anyway, here's the controller. I think there is some big changes, big, big changes. So I'll start off with the big thing that you notice. The D-pad. Um, it's completely different. You now got diagonal buttons on here. But really no difference. Anyway, on to the actual big difference. Share button. Microsoft went on about this button. Even though... All it does is something that half of the people who probably play Xbox don't even care about. But anyway. I think it's a really good button. If you're a content creator like me. I think that's a really good button. Uh, the the sticks feel good. I actually really like these. They feel really good. Triggers. Oh, they've added some smoothness to these triggers. They feel a lot more comfortable. Well, I would say they. I think it's where I've been using the old style of trigger triggers for a long time. These feel a little bit different. Uh, the actual trigger, the the top triggers, I think, are... Actually, these feel smaller. So, yeah, there you go. And then, and then the, another big change is... Um, so, the original Xbox One controller, it, it kind of has a complete... Yeah, I'll show you when I do a comparison, but it kind of had a thing... That went in the middle. Then when the One X and One S came out, and then the One S all digital, they had that thing. But instead of it being look at kind of sh showing it, kind of just digged into the controller's design a little bit. So it was kind of like, and then a little hole where it, and then but this time the whole control, whole controller is smooth. Whole controller. Also, there's very nice grip. Um, big change. Uh, these used to be a different colour. Then I'll, like, match the rest of the controller. I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't know how I feel about that. Because it's like, I'm so used to seeing controllers have this bit white. Or if it's a... Like, I'm not really... But you know what I mean. So, if this is all white and then this is... Like, I've just been used to that. I've been used to that. So, very interesting. Very, very... Ooh, ooh is that new grips? Um, but, yeah. Really interesting. Also, they made this a little bit more curved. So, yeah. Power, bo power button actually... Feels a little bit more kind of unlike the original power button. Button. So uh, yeah. Anyway, now let's do the comparison. Okay, so here's a comparison of all of the controllers. Um. So this is the newest. Um. This is a version of that controller, so it's technically also the newest. And then, actually, this is a third-party controller with back buttons and stuff. I thought I'd include that because it's actually a little bit cheaper than the um, the original for the thing. So, yeah. And then you've also got your Xbox One S controller and also X. I've got a special edition Minecraft because I'm cool. No, I'm joking. Um also another special edition again because i'm cool no i'm joking <laughs> again joking again um this is the original xbox one controller so it's i've had it for a long time let's just say, say it's it's definitely been here for a very long time 2013 i think i got this controller this controller i can't remember this controller this year this controller, like, 
today. <laughs> and at the time of recording this, it was actually today I got that. So, uh, actually, yeah, this one I got for my birthday. Uh, this one I got for Christmas. And then this one I got in 2013. So, uh, yeah. So, we start off with the original Xbox One controller. This, uh, this again, it's kind of old, so it's got... So, I can't really say how it feels, but there is some differences, like... What I was saying earlier about the middle bit, that that's what I was talking about. So it's kind of the rest of the control is white, and then this bit is black up here. Um, so uh, yeah. Anyway, one S controller. This is quite nice. I think this is very similar to the, to the um Series S controller. Very nice triggers, and then. And then, I don't actually think there is a difference with the power button. I thought there was, but it's not. This still has that original trigger feel. And no grips on top of it. So that's why I added my own, or I bought them for it. Uh, we got the, the Power A Enhanced Wired Controller. So this would be wired, but I have it like this like this for this video because I'm not going to be plugging it into anything because I'm not going to be playing with it but uh you got the mic the big difference is is I actually think this feels better the big difference is back buttons you still got the share button there's a little moth flying around um still got the share button and you still got the the um mic and the big difference is the mic and the back button so uh, yeah then you got the newest controller which is the series s and i've already talked about that okay thank you for watching remember to like subscribe and bye bye